two weeks from today, the day after Thanksgiving is so-called Black Friday. For retailers, it is the break-even day when shoppers turn the ink in their books from red to black. But profit is not the only concern for retailers this year, as Debbie Turner-Bell tells us. In 2008, Black Friday at a Long Island Walmart turned deadly. He got trampled, you know, he got stomped on. 34-year-old temporary worker Jimmy Ty Demore was trampled to death when he unlocked the doors at the discount retailer. And they started pushing in, pushing in the doors. They wanted what they came for. An estimated 2,000 people waited outside for hours. A sign read, Blitz Line starts here. It was a recipe for disaster. You want to create an environment that does not force people within the crowd to compete against each other. This year, retailers are changing how they handle the crush of shoppers on the busiest shopping day of the year. You just don't open doors and let people run in like a stampede. TVs! All your TVs are in the back! Right Best Buy stores have implemented crowd control measures for years, letting people in 40 to 50 at a time. We're going to have tickets and we're going to have flyers for all the specials so that customers will definitely know when they walk in, what areas they will immediately go to. The National Retail Federation has released comprehensive guidelines on how stores should manage crowds. I'm glad because it'll keep people safe. Debbie Turner-Bell, CBS News, New York.